Okay, so the machine just finished. Um, we're waiting for the... So there's some holes there. We're waiting for the dialogue. At this point, the machine has finished drilling the board and we're ready to dismount the material um, to begin the electroplating process. We can see here in this dialogue that comes up when the machine is finally finished that we are told to dismount the material and begin the through hole plating process. Um, what's really kind of scary for students is this next step, which is to abort processing the board. The electroplating process can take several hours and very likely someone else is going to want to use the equipment. So we can go ahead and abort and what's going to happen is we'll be able to restart where we left off uh, in the process when we're done plating. So go ahead and hit abort and what's going to happen is this dialog will disappear and it will give us an opportunity to save your file. Make sure you save your file. That will have all of the changes that the, the uh, wizard made when it prepared your board. It also records the progress that was made in processing your board. So when the abort dialog comes up, we're going to actually go ahead and say stop and file save. And so your progress now is saved and you can now take the board off the machine and begin the plating process. So I can now reach over here, shake the dust off the board. Um, it's a good idea not to have this dust go all over the lab. And we can now take it over to the electroplating station. Hi, so your board is off of the machine and now ready for plating. Um, the first thing we're going to do is wash off any debris that might be left on from drilling. So we'll use the sink water and we can kind of rinse it off, uh, make sure that there's no dust and debris left on the board. Um, this is the last time that we'll use the tap water on the board uh, before we start plating. Um, Any time that the tap water comes in contact with the later baths, especially number three, will destroy the chemical that's in there. It'll actually bind with the activated charcoal site and disable it. So it's very important we don't use sink water after this point. Um, what we're going to do is inspect the board to make sure that there's no plugged holes. Um, this is one of the disadvantages. This board uses a 0.4 millimeter drill hole. Um, they're, they're very small. And so it's very often that there might be a little bit of residue left from the foam on the board. In fact, I see a couple holes here that need to be cleared out. The water didn't do it. So what I'll do is I'll use the air hose, the air nozzle. I'll get right into a hole here, blow it out, and I can inspect to make sure that I can see light through again. So after you're pretty sure that you have no plugged holes, we're ready to actually set up for the plater. Um, we'll make sure that we put the tools back, leave the lab in a state that is better than it was when you found it. And the holders and every all of the tools for the plater are all in the same drawer. Um, the plater holder we're going to use first is the plastic one. Later we'll use the one with the cable. That's the one that I actually use for electroplating. This is just for holding the board in through the cleaning stages. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount the board into the holder, lightly tighten down the thumb screws, and we'll put the board into the plating baths. It starts off, there's four phases. We're going to start off in phase one, which is a cleaner. The first two phases are cleaners to remove uh, dust and debris and the contaminants from handling the board and from storage. Um, the third phase is going to be an activated ink and we're going to put on some protective clothes so that we don't ruin what we're wearing. The last bath is the sulfuric acid and copper uh, plating solution, uh, which we'll also wear some protective gear for. Um, but the soap is, is pretty neutral. So the board has gone in. Um, what we can do is um, following the instructions that are in the manual, um, which will also be posted up here on the wall, um, it tells us that we're going to start in phase one, but we have to make sure that we're running the right profile first. Most of the profiles that we're going to do for this class involve profile number two. So we will use the menu system on the board 
to navigate around. Um, the triangle points to what we're selecting with the arrow keys. So I want to navigate to profiles and I want to choose under selection, I want to choose profile number two and hit enter. And we'll see that the profile has changed to number two. I can then hit escape and escape. And I'll save my selection. And now we can go to phases. And I want to start with phase one. We've already put the board in, and so then we can use the enter key for start. It'll now take 15 minutes for the board to process. Okay, the machine's alarm is sounding, telling us that the first stage is done processing. I'm gonna use this black plastic tray to hold the board and catch any liquid that drips off. And I'm going to hold the board, pull it out very slowly with a smooth, reasonably smooth motion. Let the majority of the soap drain off. Um, if the tank heater is working today, it'll actually be quite warm. So I'll take the board here to the tray. I will use this spray bottle of distilled water and I will spray off the soap. Oh, I'll also come over here and press the escape button so that the alarm stops because that's really quite obnoxious. I use the spray bottle to spray down the board. taking care to make sure that any of the uh, holes are cleaned out. And then it goes into tank number two. The second tank is only up for about five minutes. I'll come over here to the control panel. And again, we'll see we're on phase one, profile two. So I wanna go now to hit escape and go to end. And now I can actually navigate, hitting escape, I'm back to the main menu or the phase menu, and I can now select with the down arrow phase two, press enter, and press start. We'll see that it's gonna run for five minutes. Go. Okay, so phase two, just finished. The alarm's going off. So I'm gonna come over, hit the left direction key to silence the alarm. Um, I'm gonna grab the same black tray we're going to take the board out and this time we're going to again let it kind of drip out. The instructions from the vendor suggest that you can use distilled water to clean off your board here over the tank um, to save the fluid. My advice is not to do that. Um, you tend to get water all over the place. So again, we'll collect it. Um, before I do any more processing so that I don't forget later, I'm going to close tanks one and two um, by putting the plastic back into place. At this stage, I'm going to use distilled water. I'm going to get a really good thorough cleaning on the board. So I'm going to make sure I try to spray water, in, especially into the bigger holes, to get all the soap out. This rinse should actually not have as much soapy uh, bubble action. At this point, I want to dry the board off so that there's no residue left. So I'll use the uh, hair dryer. And we'll use the hook and put the hair dryer back. So at this point, we'll give it one more inspection. There might be a little couple of drips of water. The important thing is we want to make sure that there's no water left in the hole. 
So I see two holes here that actually still have a little, little water in them. So one more time with the hair dryer, I'm going to focus the air onto those holes. What can happen is air can be trapped in the hole. So there could be a bubble and the surface tension of the water will hold the air in place. And when we put it into this bank, uh, third bank, uh, a tank, what will happen is um, the bubble won't release, the plating fluid won't go into it, into the hole, and then it won't plate. Before I do that though, before I handle the tank, I'm going to put on some gloves. So, take the lid, the lid off. Um, I'm going to make sure that the water level is okay, and I see that there's, um, there's a triangle that has to be above the tip of the triangle. Uh, I do see that it is, so this tank is ready to go. If it's not, you need to get Dr. Briggs. Put the board into the bath, like we did the first two times. But this time, we're going to shake any air out of the holes. And so it seems kind of silly, but we're just going to lightly tap. And we can even bring it up. And just going to make sure everything is good to go. And then we can settle the board in one last time. So at this point now, we'll go back to the control panel like we did the first time. Um, we go to end, I hit enter. Um, now I can go to escape to get back to the phases menu. We're gonna select phase three, phase three for tank three. Press enter and start. And we have a 15 minute processing time for the activated charcoal.